Honourable Members, the Speaker. Almighty God, we humbly beseech thee to vouchsafe thy blessing upon this parliament, direct and prosper our deliberations to the advancement of thy glory and the true welfare of the people of Australia. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Order. At the previous sitting, the first two divisions deferred in accordance with standing orders 133 were called on the questions that the members for Moncrief and Cowper be no longer heard. I do not propose to proceed with these divisions as they are redundant and otiose, given that they have no effect. The member for North Sydney. On indulgence, Mr um, Speaker, uh, this il illustrates the farce that was Friday sittings, given that the members would have been entitled to continue speaking, given that the divisions are not being put. Order. In accordance with Standing Order 133, I shall now proceed to put the question on the motion that the member for North Sydney be no longer heard, on which a division was called for, <laughs> on which a division was called for and deferred in accordance with the Standing Order. No further debate is allowed. The bells shall now be rung. If the Leader of the Nationals is seeking the call, I will allow him to come to the dispatch box and seek a clarification. I'll ask the question on the record then uh, as to why this one is being uh, put to the vote when the two previous ones, I think quite wisely, you decided not to do so. It is obvious right, that— the uh, Leader of the Nationals, resume his seat. I thank him for the question. The reason, that, the reason that those divisions are otios is that the time allotted for the suspension of standing orders, being the 25 minutes, has well and truly expired, whereas this motion was, regrettably for me, based on a motion dissenting from a ruling from the chair, which does not have such a time limitation.
don't know, other bells rings? <laughs> it's... Lock the doors. The question is that the member for North Sydney be no longer heard. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Shortland and Werriwa tell us for the ayes, and the honourable members for Riverina and Ryan tell us for the noes.
Result of the division is I 79, noes 58. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. In accordance with Standing Order 133, I shall now proceed to put the question on the motion that the Deputy Leader of the Opposition be no longer heard, on which a division was called for and deferred in accordance with the Standing Order. No further debate is allowed. The bell shall now be rung for one minute. Uh, I appoint the same Tellers. Members must remain in their seats unless they are leaving the chamber. Well, they did not vote in the previous division or they are changing their vote, in which case they must report to the tellers. Lock the doors. The question before the House is that the Deputy Leader of the Opposition be no longer heard. Members must have remained in their seat unless they were changing their vote or they did not vote in the previous division, in which case they should have reported to the tellers. Order. The result of the division is I 75, noes 58. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. Order. In accordance with Standing Order 133, I should now proceed to put the question on the motion that the Speaker's ruling be dissented from, on which a division was called for and deferred in accordance with the Standing Order. No further debate is allowed. The bells shall now be rung for one minute. One minute. Lock the doors. The question is that the Speaker's ruling be dissented from. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Ryan and Riverina Tallers for the ayes, and the honourable members for Werriwa and Shortland 
tell us for the noes. One less year, yeah, talk of walk, walk out. Yeah, better. Order the result of the division is ayes 57, noes 75. The question is therefore negative. Order. In accordance with Standing Order 133, I shall now proceed to put the question on the motion that the member for Moncrief be suspended from the service of the House, on which a division was called for and deferred in accordance with the Standing Order. No further debate is allowed. The bells shall now be rung for one minute. The The member for North Sydney. Mr Speaker, uh, on indulgence. On Mr. indulgence. Speaker, just to provide clarity for the Hansard recording of this moment, the member for Moncrief was, I understand, suspended from the House under section 94F. Uh, and in fact, it was the, uh, uh, one of our own members that moved, that pointed out that the member should be named. And I do point out that in this case the member for Moncrief and, uh, and the member for Cowper are, under Farcical Friday rules, effectively Order. being suspended from the House for 48 hours, 48 hours because in deference to the Speaker they left the chamber at the appropriate time on the Friday have served 24 Order. hours, the, have not come back in. The honourable member will resume his seat. Order! Lock the doors. The question is that the member for Moncrief be suspended from the services of the House. The question is that the motion be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Werriwa and Shortland Tellers for the ayes, and the member for Riverina and Ryan Tellers for the noes.
Order. The result of the division is ayes 79, noes 58. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. The member is therefore suspended from the services of the House for 24 hours under, third, under Standing Order 94D. Order. In accordance with Standing Order 133, I shall now proceed to put the question on the motion that the member for Cowper be suspended from the service of the House, on which a division was called for and deferred in accordance with the Standing Order. No further debate is allowed. The bell shall now be rung for one minute. I appoint the same tellers. Members must remain in their seats unless they are leaving the chamber or they did not vote in the previous division or they are changing their vote, in which case they must report to the tellers. The member for North Sydney. Again, on indulgence, Mr Speaker, in deference to you, the member is effectively serving a 48-hour penalty uh, under a 24-hour provision. Indicates what a farce the Friday was. Members should have remained in their seats unless they are changing their vote or they did not vote in the previous division, in which case they should have reported to the tellers. Order. The result of the division is ayes 79, noes 58. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. The member for Cowper is therefore suspended from the services of the House for 24 hours under Standing Order 94D. Rest in peace. 